can start. So I have um, 30 minutes for um, to, you know, to go through everything I want to talk about. So tonight I'm going to be trying as much as possible to stay on and not exceed understanding the market structure. So we are going to be understanding market structure here tonight. So let me use a, a, a very bare, um, a very bare chart. Now let me quickly ask a question, just for you to, just for me to know, you are following. Now, for anyone that is a little bit experienced in the, in the, as listening to me, can you just suggest, um, can you just on the chat box, can you just suggest a pair we should we should work on tonight? Just give me a pair, just any, it could be commodity, it could be index, it could be stock, it could be forex, I mean, I mean currency pair. Just drop something on the group. Let me know what you want me to work on tonight. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chidi is saying we should work on gold. Thank you. So let me go to gold USD and let's, and let's see how that works here. So, um, Let's do good USD. Though I have good already here. Let me even show you my chart on good. This is my chart on good. Um, if you understand the market, you can see this is money already. This is my chart on good. See, this also happened on Friday. This also happened on Friday, and you know, this is huge. This was caused by USD uh, news, and then this is 338 pips. If you are zero point um, one, that is um, that is money. And if you are one point zero, like some of my friends do, or ten point zero, you can as well buy your dream car just with one trade. I mean, that's how we roll. And then <laughs> that's how we roll anyway. So let's just go. Let me just continue with that. So let me look for a bear, a bear. Um, um, so now this is this is my chart. You can see it's very bare very different from what we had in the first one I, I showed you. So there's a default settings I already made on my, on my, on my chart. So immediately I, I pick a template, it's going to change to something that looks like words I already picked. So, uh, aha. so this is, this is the way I love to have my, you know, my chart. But let me quickly, let me quickly mention how to do that so that I don't jump over it. So let me, um, open a bare good chart once again and then walk you through how to achieve what I just did. So now I don't like what I'm saying, so um, so I I come to chart and then I come to come to properties and then this is where I do all my settings. The background, you can change your background from black to white like I did. And then you can see it has changed. Change the foreground to black. If you want, it has changed. You can change your bar hop, that is your bullish candles. Or your, you can change them. I love them green. And I love the bar down red. So, um, blue candle, you can change it to green. You can change. Be a candle to red. So it depends on what you like and every the way you like it. So immediately I click OK. You can see things have changed. You can you can you can remove the background, all this block line, a lot of that. You can do all of that. But let's just and then once you do that, you can now save it. You can save it and then once you can save it as a template, and and then once you save it as a template, so all these are templates that I've, I've been able to work on. So this is the template I currently use. So let's just get into all of that. Those ones are not so much important. So I'm going to work on this um, in preparation for the next. But before I do that, let's start. Let me let me let me do this. Now this is the chart of gold. This is the monthly chart. And what does that mean? It means that every candle you are looking at here represents a month. Let me repeat that. Every candle you can see on this represents a month. Now, please document all your questions. I will treat all of them. Make sure you don't forget. Document all of them. It is very important that you understand this. I want you to be able to see. 
one of the things we've done in this part of the world, especially in this country, is we sold the lifestyle of of freedom. Everybody, so every everybody is is making us look like this thing is uh, easy. You know, we can do. Truly, you can do all of these things. But then, not many people that say they know how to do th these things really know how to do it. And that is the truth. Most people you see around on social media are just marketers. They are all fake. Most of them are fakers. So I'm not saying that, not, I'm not saying all of them, but most people are fakers. This is my industry. And I know a lot of people that are doing all sorts of things. So, but it is important. Those things are not important. It's important that you understand deeply because the truth is you are the one that have used to pay. You are the ones that have, um, you know what you need. So we should not focus on the lifestyle or who is driving, uh, who is driving a Benz because he called himself a Forex trader. Many of them made money marketing people. You know, a lot of things. But then the few, the, the, the people that really make money in the market are very few, are very few. And I must tell you, there's a lot of, there are a few people I know that they really make good money in the market. So you need to pay attention and learn this thing. It is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a journey on its own. And then you have to give yourself time and be ready to learn. The kind of trading I do, I call it, we call it price action trading. We don't do all sorts of indicators that you just messed the whole things up. Now, the reason I don't condemn indicators, the reason I use I don't use indicator, and a few of my friends also don't use indicator. We believe the best indicator you can ever use is your highs. Why? Because all these indicators are programs, and, they, and then they work based on majority um, influences. And if you have used indicator very well, you will know that they don't move at the time they're supposed to move. They always lag. So when your market has moved some pips, that's when your indicator is saying you should move. So, you know, there's a lot of things. For example, look at this place. Look at this place now. The market has moved from year to year. Before your your um, EME says it's it, it's a buy signal, but you know, let's just leave that. I will get all of that. So price action trading is what is the most um, comfortable trading. You know that there are rules in the market, and once you understand how the market works, then you have no problem. You just once you understand, you understand. If you don't understand, there's nothing else you want to do. You don't understand. So I'm trying to start from the basics, which is knowing the candlesticks now this each of these candles represent a month no matter how small or no matter how big they represent a month now that's because i'm on monthly um time frame if i go to weekly time frame it means that all of each of these candles here represent a week each of them represent a week if i go to d1 each of these candles represent a day if i go to h4 each of these candles represents four hours. If I go to each one, each of these candles, hello, can you still hear me? I think I tampered with something. Okay, so I, 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 are we still live? Did I, did I tamper with anything? Can you still hear me? Can you, can you see it now? Please. Okay, can you see the screen again now? I think I tamper with the sharing setting. Okay, thank you so much. So, um, like I was saying, like I was saying, each of them, so I was on H1. So each of these represents, you know, this is H1. Each of these candles represents one hour. No matter, it doesn't, the length does not really matter. The time frame, it means that the markets move up and down, up and down, and then when it's one hour, another one started. Same thing with 30 minutes, same thing with 15 minutes, five minutes, one minute, and all of that. Now, that said, let me see another thing. But what is that other thing I want to say? As a short term trader, now, as a day trader, like we call ourselves a day trader, you don't stay on, you most likely won't stay on, on a month because one month, this one candlestick is one month. 
and then you want to trade today and then you want to enter the market and exit today so you can't stay on this candlestick hence although you can as well use this candlestick this chart to take to me to make to understand some things but you can't place a trade on monthly you can also place a trade on weekly now there are different types of trading so i'm not saying you cannot it depends on what you want to trade but once you understand what you are doing you can do as you like but just for you to understand my point i'm going to say that this is what i do as a day trader as a day trader you need to understand that there are there are, there are um there are period in the market and that's why i use period separator to get your picture separator added to this chart now i just control y now what does that mean it means that i am on monthly um time frame currently now but what does that mean let me show you something between here and here there are 12 months so meaning between this small place, it's a whole year. A whole year. Are you getting my point? So if you if you want to predict the future, which is what we do in the markets, you need the most recent data. Data is important, but not the obsolete one. Although there are nothing really obsolete in the market because there are regions in the market that even if it's five years, if the market tests them, they will still respect those levels. So it's it's a year now if we go to the one week um time if you if you, if you check it you have 52 weeks it is still what it is still a year if we go to if we go to d1 you are dealing with a month so that seems a little bit more recent if you will agree with me this is this is 23 days. You know, we don't trade on weekends. So this is 23 days. So it can be it can be 30 days. So this is 23 days. So if I want to predict what will happen this month, the best data I can get is last month's data. I hope you are following me. Now, the for me to know what what, what happened, so for me to predict what will happen next week in this market. Or to have an idea, let me not say predict. To have an idea, what is, what, is, what is going to happen next week in this market? I need what happened last week. I need to understand what happened last week. And then to do that, look at this. This is what we have 30 or 4 hours. And if you say 30 times 4 hours, you are going to get a week. So let's do that calculation. So, can somebody help us quickly do that? 30 times 4 hours. Quickly, I'm expecting the answer. Thirty times 4 hours. Is there no mathematician among us? Help us calculate. 4 times 30. 120 hours. Thank you. So 120 hours divided by five days. Okay, sorry, 120 hours divided by 24 hours. 120 divided by 24. 120 divided by 24. Five days. So meaning that for us to understand what will happen next week, we need to understand what happened last week. I hope you are following. So now this is the week that just ended so for us to know what will happen this new week that we just speak we need to understand what happened here so our focus is going to be here are you getting my point it's going to be here but then i'm just trying to gradually move our focus is going to be here just put that so that said let me now help understand few other things. Now, what I say about you know, understanding what happened last week, last month, we'll get all of that maybe later. But let me get to focus on what I really want to talk about today. So now, in the market, there are three things we have. There are three movements we have. We have 
what makes money for any trader in the market is volatility. And then, so we, can, we have three types of movement. We have the downtrend, we have the uptrend, and then we have the consolidation. So downtrend means the market is moving down, and uptrend means the market is moving up. Consolidation means the market is just you know, moving at one level. So uh, um, let's, see, let's see an example of that. Between here, between here and here is an uptrend. You can see the market move up and you know, it keeps moving up. That's one. How do, you know, how do you know if the market is moving up? You will always see and it's obvious. So let's see what is a downtrend as well. Let's do for a downtrend in this chart. Let's do for a downtrend in this chart now. Okay, let me just manage this. Let me manage this. Now, from here to here is a downtrend. So let's just manage this. The market moved down. So let's do for a consolidation when markets kept moving in just one area for a long time. I can't seem to see anyone here. So let me go and look for my, my other charts and see if I can pinpoint one. Now, okay. Can you see what happened here? Between here and here. In fact, between So all of these areas are consolidation area. But then let me, let me tell you why. These things are very simple. And why did I say so? It is very important that you know that, you know that we don't, for example, if you are to run from here to, um, from here to a very far place, you cannot run, run at the same pace. You obviously cannot run at the same pace. You can't. So you will run and then, you know, you would, you would walk. So if the market is moving up, there will be a time that the market will have to pull down and rest. So that, those are consolidation. And then after that, the market can move up again or the market can move down. Or the market can move down. Please. So the market does not continue to go up. Nothing really goes up for a long, for, forever in this life. We all know that. And nothing really goes down forever. So either it's a downtrend or a, or, or, or a uptrend, it will, it will get to a point where it will consolidate, where it will, it, will, it will start consolidating and start moving slow, 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 and then. So the, the trick to all these things is, now, you don't trade consolidation. The best way to lose your money in this market is to trade consolidation. If you trade consolidation, you will lose your money. I mean, it's, it's just that simple. You are, you are going to make money by trading a moving market, a market that is about to move. In fact, that is always the easiest way in the market. If you see some of the charts I'm trying to preview here, you see that, you know, I marked where the market moved. Look at this, for example. I targeted it. You can see. There are times the market will just drop like that. And it does not always happen anyway, but when it happens, it's free money. Look at this. I've marked it. And I, I've, I was in this trade and I took as much as possible as I can. The word I saw my post um, on Friday, Saturday, this was what I was talking about. You know, I didn't know it was going to go this far. In my widest imagination, I thought it would just, you know, let me, if I can just get there, it's good money. But then, you know, things happen, news help, fundamentals at times help your, help your technicals, and then you are in for a good time. So, you know, you can see all sorts of breakouts here after a lot of consolidation. It happens every time. After consolidation, breakout happens. See, after consolidation, breakouts. After consolidation, uptrend, downtrend. You can see market is always moving like that. So you need to be patient 
to be able to understand this market. After all the rubbish and the, the consolidation here, it went up and then see. So look at this, after consolidation, the market came down. So it is, it is the way markets behave. That is how to understand them. See, look at, look, just look at my chart. After the consolidation here, after wasting a lot of time, you know, you know zeroing into the into my triangle, and then it has not nowhere to go again. They have to break this support and you know drop down. So, you know, I, I know I'm jumping over myself, but I just hope you would, you would get the understanding. So we have uptrend, we have downtrend, and we have consolidation. How do you know uptrend? How do you know downtrend? Who is joining on my screen? Please stop that, please. Please just so um that now that you know what you need to know about that, how do you know an uptrend? How do you know a downtrend? At times it is very obvious, at times it is not that is the truth. At times it is very obvious to know, at times it is not. Especially when it is not when it is still very fresh. When the trend is fresh, you might not be able to tell the difference. So there's there are simple ways to know. The easiest way to know is to use what, what I call the EMA, exponential moving average. Now, this is my EMA, and I use EMA 30. And that's possibly the only indicator in code that I use. And I don't use it to make decisions. I just use it as, as just by the way. So anytime you open a chart and you put a 30 EMA on it, so how do you put a 30 EMA? That's the next question. So let me remove this and put it again. So, um, indicator list, let me remove this. You can see I just removed my EMA and I want to put it back. So I, I come to insert, come to indica indicators, and then, um, and then I go to moving average, and I select 30, I select exponential, I select the color and the thickness, and then I put it. So it's that simple. So now, anytime you put 30 EMA on a chart, and then your price, when I say price, it means where price is currently, is above the EMA. So when price is above the EMA, this is EMA, this is price. Anytime you put this EMA on a chart and price is above EMA, what do you have? It's an uptrend. And when it is the opposite, it's a downtrend. It's that simple. That's one. Secondly, and the most important and then error-proof way is this. In the market, in any uptrend, now, I, I think I saw a perfect downtrend here. So let me show you. This is a downtrend. This is a downtrend. Look at this. Let me just draw this here. Now, let me use this one to explain as much in fact, I'm so happy I found this here. Let me just use this one and explain what I want to explain here. Now, look at this here. See, the highest point here is 1,388.39. 1, and then the lowest point here is 1,049. Now, what am I saying? The market is at its height here. It's at its highest point here. So, what comes from a trend? For example, downtrend, which one, the one we are dealing with now. See, this is a high. A downtrend always starts with a high. This is a high. The, a high in the market. And then this is a low in the market. Are you, are, are you following me? Please be patient here and follow me. Now, for you to confirm a downtrend, you need another high. You need another high, and that high has to be lower than the previous high, but higher than the current low. Don't get it twisted. Let me repeat myself. After a high and a low, you need another high that is lower than the previous high, yet higher than the current low. What am I saying? This is the high I'm talking about. This high is lower than this high, but this high is higher than this low. And that's why we call it what? A lower I. Because it is lower than this I. So now we have a I, we have a low, we have a lower I. What are we going to have next? We now need 
a lower low, a low that is lower than the previous low. So we have a lower low here. So for you to have a downtrend continue, you have to keep having a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low. Until that is challenged, the market structure is still on. That is how markets move. Nothing can just keep going through and just keep going like that. It was always, you know, always we test the, the last eye. So now let's go over this again. This is a high, this is a low, this is a lower high, this is a lower low, this is what a lower low, a lower high, and then now this is not what this is not a lower low. This low is not lower than this. So it is invalid. So this is our low. This is our lower low. This low is lower than this low. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we have a high that's lower than this high, and then this. So let's now see what happens next. Now, after, after we have seen a lower low, we are supposed to see what? A lower high somewhere here. But what happened? We, we went ahead and saw what? Something higher than our previous high. At that point, at that point, market structure has been threatened. I didn't say broken. It has been threatened. Because at times, you will see it will go up like this, and then the next thing you will see, it, is, it will now go down more, more, more. It could, be, it could be influenced by fundamentals, I mean, news and other things. So I didn't say it has been broken. I said what? It has been threatened. So now, Instead of having a lower eye, what we now have now is what? Something higher than our previous eye. So at that point, if you're in that trade, you take profits and wait, or you lock in your profits, whichever way you want to do, just you know, pay attention. Now, it went up to create a high, and then went up to create what? A, a low, which if we draw, is a little bit looking as if it is testing this, this low. And then after that, went up. At that point, at this point, at this very point, this market structure has been, has been broken. Now, I know you must have listened to different teachers and different people who say, once this happened, it has been threatened, that it has been broken already. I wouldn't accept that because I've seen different cases that it comes down again and it continued, the, especially if you trade the British pounds very well. That pair is very crazy. You can move anywhere, but then it still respects technicals. So that is that for, for um, downtrend. And then the same apply for, um, if you are looking for um, uptrend as well. Okay, let's use this for example. Look at this for example. This is a low, this is a high. What do we need to confirm a, 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 an uptrend? We have um, a higher low, a low that is higher than the previous low, and then what do we need next? We need a higher high, a high, a high that is higher than the last high, then we need a higher low, then a higher high, a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and then higher low, higher high, until it cannot, it couldn't form higher high again and then the market consolidated for a while and then start coming down again. That is how market works. Because I mean, I mean, there's no, there, there's no, uh, there's no, there's no gray word, there's no, there's nothing to hide there. That is how market works. So, now that we've been able to identify, learn how to identify the trend, now can we now learn to, to draw the trend line? Now, there's what we call the trend line. Now, it's very simple, there's no, there's no best way, there's no worst way to draw it. It's just that I tell people, once you can connect two or three, with two points in the market, you have a trend line. With three, you confirm it, you confirm the trend line. So now we want to draw a trend line here. Now this is a point. Now, this is another point. This is another point. Now, this is another point. This is another point. This is another point. 
So many people will draw their trend line like this. But then from experience, I would rather put it like this. Now, so that if anything is going, going to misbehave, I can at least target the worst case scenario. So this is this is my trend line. Oh. It doesn't have to be at the at the you don't draw a chain line putting your line on the body of the candle. It's that is the only reason. That is the only thing I can see. I mean, and say your your chain line is not possible because you've constricted the price. Now it has to be either on the on the tip of the market or outside the market totally. Outside the market totally. So um, that that is um, that is trend line. So you can just practice that. Now look for points in the market and just draw and just draw the trend. Just draw, draw the line. Just draw the line. This is one. This is another one. No, just play around with it. Just draw trend line as 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 much as you can. Now the EMA is also a trend um, line, but you know not the way we draw it. You can see. You can see this is the other one we talked about. You can see. You can you can play with it and draw as well as you want to. So now before I you know before I finish or open the the room for question, let me also talk about support and resistance. Now there are places in the market, there are regions in the market when it comes to support and resistance. There are regions in the market that price will always respect. And when I mean respect, I actually mean respect. Let me let me let me just use that word. Now, so price can eventually break them or return from them. One of it is what we have before us here. So if you have a place in the market where price continuously rejects or move from, it could be a support and a, or a resistance. So look at this, look at this point, for example. You can see that market touch it went up, touch it went up, touch it went up before eventually broke it here. Can you see what we are talking about? So that is a support. So don't mix it up. Support means it's supporting price up. Now resistance is, is resisting price down. So and one funny thing is um, a support today will be a resistance tomorrow. Nothing goes forever in this world. So um let me look for a resistance in the market let me look for a resistance in this market now the coin the point at which we currently have actually the same point that we drew and we, and we, and we called a support is now forming a resistance for the current for the current market you can see market touched here and then came down powerfully rallied up again, came down, and then rallied up, and then it's already printing red candle. Almost so, so if you, just looking at this alone, you already have a bias for the next week that good is likely going to fall. I mean, just with this. Because this point that, that good is, is a point, is a very critical level that good constantly rejects, that constantly rejects good. If you, if, you go, if you look at you know, past um, time in the market, you can see that. So we look at that, this is, this is the resistance in the market. And then you can also see that somewhere, somehow, somehow, this look like the support also. Market touch here, went up, touch here, went up, touch it again, went up, touch it again, went up, and then. So this is, this is a support. This is a resistance. So our, our, our trend lines also are also diagonal support and resistance. So they are the places where market, I mean, turn, where market turn. It's not every support that market turns from. Market break a lot of them as well. Let me show you examples. Now look at this, this is supposed to be a support, but market broke it. Look at the UJ we spoke about. This is supposed to be a support. As if I, this is supposed to be a region, a supply region. Look at it. See the way I marked it. It's not just ordinary support. It's a strong region. It has a support line and it has a region line. Yet, it got broken. So, it is not 
If there's no add of fast food to it, market will always do its own thing. Just need to understand how it moves. Look at this, for example, market touch here went up. So we have, we, we have almost enough confirmation to say that this is a very strong area. Market touch here went up, touch here went up, touch it again, rally below it. You no, know, if you if you were a, you know you will have thought that this was broken already. But look at what happened. After staying a long time under it, it went up again. And then touch it again, went up again. And then see, it came and broke it again. So that is how market works. Look at this place. Market touch, return, touch it, return. Touch it again, in fact, see this one. It returned as, as quick as it touched it. Let's look at each one to understand it better. It returned almost as soon as it touched it. Market returned as soon as it touched it and then, you know, it's so, it's so easy to understand if you will pay attention. That is the most important thing. Price action trading is the best if you understand the market. You don't need any indicator. You just understand how market works. Just understand how market works. So on a concluding note, let me quickly do, um, let me quickly pick it up from what I, what I was explaining earlier about using the last week data to judge the next week. So here we have this is this is this is the one we, we input our our um our what do we call it period separator and then we want to know what is gonna to happen tomorrow or next week in the market. Now pardon me, I want to use something that I've not mentioned, but just pardon my use. I, I love using Fibonacci retracement, so I'm gonna um, I'm going to put my Fibonacci on this. So please make sure you don't ask me any question of Fibonacci in the comment section. When we get to the point, maybe later sometimes I will clean better. But just do as if you didn't see what I'm doing currently. So just understand what all I taught you today. That's all you need to understand today. So for me, I I I I I just added the Fibonacci and I'm gonna mark a few places in the market. I'm gonna mark um Wait, let me do this. So, um, apart from what we've marked earlier, support and resistance, I want to mark a few places. And then why am I marking those places? If you want to ask. The reason is those, those, those places I'm marking are the places I'm going to be waiting for price to get to. You don't just enter market and just start clicking on buy, clicking on sell, you will lose your money. You know, your discipline as a trader has to be the discipline of a sniper. A sniper in the military does not just get there and start shooting. You have to wait. You have to wait a whole day or even more to, to have that beautiful shot. And once you have that beautiful shot, you can make all the money other people have been making for a whole year. And that is the beautiful truth. Look at this particular trade. Um, where's the UJ trade? Look at this particular trade. Imagine I had to wait all from this place. I had to wait from here. I have to. I had to wait almost. Let me zoom it out so that you can see how long I had to wait. I had to wait almost one, two, three, four days. Although I was taking short, short trade, but I knew this was going to fall. I knew there was no way. Is that you break it out or you fall? I just knew it was going to fall. And then imagine I had to wait all of those days. And then when it fell, it went when at 22 pips in just one day. I mean, just imagine that. So if you are, if you are, if you are, if you are trading on 1.0, which is $10 per pip, that means 120 something, let's just say 100 pips. Let's say you put 100 pips. 100 pips times $10, that's $1,000. That's 360 something thousand naira in just one day because you sat down to, and if you are using 10.0 10, 10 lot size, that is, um, that is, I said, um, that is $10,000. I mean, it is possible if you understand, and then my stop loss there is just gonna be 20 to 10 pips, because I, I know that if you, if you jump out of some places, it, it is invalid already. So, you know, it's just, you have to learn by practice, you would, there's no way you would you, you will learn this thing if you don't lose some money. Let me just say the truth. You will lose some money, you make some mistakes. Some mistakes are technical mistakes you make, some are emotional mistakes, and then you will just keep getting better at it. So um, I was gonna do something, sorry. So for me to be able to tell what happened next week, 
I love to also know what happened last week. So let me let me not waste our time. Let me go and do the one. Um, let me use the one I've, I've I've done before now. It's not even coming up. Where's my good chart? Okay, let me just quickly do it. So um, so trying to tell what happened next week, I'm going to do this. And then I am going to put my line here. Here and here. For me, this is all I need. For me, this is all I need for the week. I mean, I said for me. And if you look at it, these are critical places in the market. You can see market turned back here, market turned back here, market turned back here. I mean, market, all of those lines you will see, if you look at them in retrospect, you see that they affected the market. Look at this. Look at this. So now when we get to the point where I start explaining Fibonacci, we will understand why. So for me, this is a critical point also. So when the market open, we'll be looking for a, a confirmation. We're looking for different things. Then we can sell the we can we can sell the market to an extent and then we can move. So I hope I've been able to you know teach and not confuse many people tonight. I just hope, because I'm already feeling that I might have confused more people than trained them. But let me just know what you think. Let me know what you think. So um, that is that about tonight, you know, teaching. I hope you, I hope you understand one or two things. Let me, let me hear what you think in the chat session. And if you have a question, please indicate. Let me open the floor for questions. Now you can indicate and let me answer your questions. Hello, everyone. I'm still waiting. Okay. I can see two people raising up their hand. Okay. Let's um uh move on. I will attend to your question. Let's take uh, Mr. Joseph first. So for the question that is on the chat, is it for people that type shade? It's for everybody. It's for everybody. It's not for people that start trading. If somebody said which time frame is the best to trade. It depends, or it depends on what you want to trade. It depends. If you're a long time trader, like, and that's why I started by showing you the time frames. You cannot, you can't say you want to quickly make some 50 pips in the market on Monday. And you went to and you went and you stayed on monthly charts. You can't stay on monthly charts. You have to go down to one hour. I, I, so I tell people, if as a day trader, as a beginning beginner trader, don't exceed one four hours. H four downwards. Anything beyond that, you might not be able to. Okay, I understand. You said some of us don't even understand the chat at all. And that's why, you know, this whole thing is a personal journey. No matter how much I teach, you might not be able. So whatever it is that you, you think you need to, you, you need to learn, the whole puzzle will come together. Go on YouTube, go on Baby Peeps. And that's why I said, I said, 
I said earlier, go on baby peeps and read. You, you have to be able to read and then watch some video, learn it yourself. Uh, this training is just to make it more practical so that we don't just you know, stay in the, in, the, in the space and then saying that these things are possible and not see the practicality of it. How to make short trades while studying the market. Of course, there, there, there are different short trades you can make, but then the way you do analysis for the first, for long-term trade is the way you do analysis for the short-term trade. It's just the time frame that will be different. So I can as well go to 15 minutes and do the same thing. But the, 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 only, the, the only thing is that when you deal with lower time frames, there's a lot of error that is permitted. Do you understand my point? The more time frame you, 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 you work, the higher time frame you work with, the more the, the, more the, um, the, more the certainty is in the market. Let me just use that. But then there's no certainty, so to say, but it just, it's just that the more the certainty, you, the more the certainty. Okay, lot size calculation. I'm loving all these questions. Okay, let me answer Mr. Potia's, Potia's question. Um, will you continue tomorrow? No, sir. I'm, I will continue tomorrow. It's just a spontaneous trade. We might do another one in two weeks' time or next week. Just keep, um, just keep in touch. Just keep in touch. I won't continue tomorrow. It's not a, it's not a daily training. Maybe just let's see if you can do weekly, but not daily. Obviously, not daily. <laughs> so, um, lot size calculation. What do you want me to? say about lot size calculation okay how do you calculate lot size there are different types of lot size the least you can use in the market is 0 0.01 0 0.01 simply means that you are trading with um you are trading let, let me show you now this is this i hope you can see this 0 0.01 now this simply means one cent per peep PIP is the movement of price in the market. So if, if market moves 20 pips and you are trading with 0 0.01, that means you are in 20 pips profit. You cannot even be in revenue profit because they are spread. So let's say you are, you are in 17 or 18 pips profit. That's what it means. So that, that means you are in um, um, 18 cents. You are in profit by 18 cents. If you, if you are on 0 0.1, that means you are in profit by one cent, one dollar eight cent. If you are using one point zero, that means you are you are in you are in profit of of um, eighteen dollars. If you are on zero point one, you are in profit of eighteen dollars. If you are on zero point oh one, you are in profit of one dollar eight cent. If you are on one point zero, you are in profit of um. 180 dollars and it goes like that so zero point just add one zero with behind the lot you are using and that's the dollar you are getting so they are using 0 0.01 just add one zero with it 0 0.01 that's one cent a b so 0 0.1 that's one dollar 1.0 that's ten dollar 10.0 that's hundred dollar and it goes like that and like that You welcome, sir. So, um, for the people that raised up their hand, let me. I'm trying to unmute you, and it's not. Let me. So that the experienced quadrant of things, he's going to step onto it. He lets it come across. Okay, Yonfon, you have the floor now. Can I, can we have your question? Yonfon? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you clearly, sir. Why are you muting yourself?
Hello. Why are you muting yourself? I'm unmuting you and you are muting yourself. Okay, we can hear you now. Hello. Hello, I can hear you now. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the course of the uh, tutorial, you mentioned so many things. You may mention of a lot of things, uh, among which uh, is a uh, uh, lower lower eye and lower low. Uh, so I actually want to know the impact. Uh, both of them have on trade. So you want to know the impact Hello? both of them have on what? On, on, on trade. On trade, okay. The, yeah. Okay. Are we asking? Is that the only question? Uh, yeah, that is, only, that is the only question I have. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I will, I will quickly... I'll quickly answer that now. So um, someone asked higher low, lower low, all of those things. What is the impact that they have on the trade? Now, if you are selling the market from here, I hope you are following me. If you, are, if you click sell here, the market is not open. I'll, I'll try and do something. So if you, if you click sell here, and then markets, comes here to form a low. Now it goes up. Now you know you project markets will go down and it start going up. You will already be scared and getting agitated. Now, but what will make you not to get agitated is because you understand the market structure. And you know that markets cannot just keep going down. If you go down a little, come down a little and then keep going down and then come down, keep going down, come up, keep going down. That is how markets move. Market does not just move straight. So market must retrace little by little. We call it retracement. So if you understand that a little retracement in the market will not get you scared, you'll be able to hold your trade for long. That is what it means. So market comes from here to here and it went up. You will not jump out and say, ah, this thing is already retracing. Let me jump out before I lose the money I've made already. Because if you have jumped that out of here, you would, you would have missed the money you could have made coming down here again. I hope you are following me. So that is why you need to understand the market structure. So when before you, it is, it is now when the market now go and threaten the market structure, when price threaten market structure, or break market structure, that is when you can say, ah, this market structure has become invalid and I can jump out. Until then, you can still hold that trade. Until then, you can still hold that particular trade. I hope I've been able to answer your question, Nufo. Yes, yes, <laughs> you have. Okay. So, um, do we have any other question? Do we have any other question? Okay. Mr. Joseph. You have the floor now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what the up and the the high and the low and the lower low, lower high to the lower low and you understand understanding that structure and also like moving from uh, you know understand, understanding the down structure and understanding the the upward moving uh, structure is a little bit confusing because you know it's for I'm a beginner, and if I can, I am just trying to see. I understand the trend, but picking those lower low and higher high and all those things and following that thing downward is what I am okay. trying to to see how to follow it so I can know which one is exactly the higher high, the lower low, and so. Okay. That's my question. Okay. Okay. I will. I will try and make it clear now. Now, okay. I think. 
let, let me see if I can try this thing so that we can understand it better. You know, I made, I made mention of trend lines. One of the ways, you know, I said, how do we know, one of the ways we can be able to tell the trends and all of that is, you know, higher, low, higher, high, the um, EME and all of that. Now, for example, let me use this for example. This is a high. I mean, high, some, somewhere high in the market. This is a low. This is a high that is higher than this high. So we call it a higher high. And then a low that is lower than this low. This is a higher low. And then a high. And then a low. And then a high. So I'm just saying that. Now, what do we need to do? If I'm taking this trade, and let's say the market is just here, as at the time I'm taking the trade. Once I've drawn my trend lines, either on both sides or, the, or on, on a single line. Now, if I want to, I know that this is, a, as a, as a, is an uptrend. For me to really make money out of this market, I should be buying. But I cannot buy at any point. I cannot just enter the market and buy. Or else, I, I could lose more money than I will ever make. Imagine I went to buy here. Imagine I buy here. I will have to wait for this market to go down, come up to this point before I even break even, before I start making profit. And then shortly after I start making profit, it will go down again. And then I have to have a, all the patience in this world. So I, can, I, cannot just, I cannot just say, ah, the market is going up, let me just buy. No, we don't do that. And that's why you need to be able to use trend line all of that. So let's say I've drawn this trend line. I saw that it touched here. Is touched here, and let's say market is somewhere like this. I cannot just buy here. I will wait for this market to go and come and touch this trend line again. So once it touches this trend line, now I know we are game. We are game. I just want to be sure that it is not ready to break the trend line. So that's the only thing I need now. So when I'm sure that uh, this guy is ready to move, then I can buy. You can see if I buy here, I'm in profit almost immediately than if I buy here or if I buy here. So, all of this mastery come with practice anyway. There's no way you, you can cram them. If you cram them, you will, miss, you, you, you will not understand them. So, and then this is not something that you will write exam on. So, there's no need to cram it. Just understand it. So, you can go back to baby, baby peeps is where everybody learn. At times, even myself, I still go back there to you know, to, to, to check some things. There was a, for a whole year, I was on baby peace. I, I, I was not watching any video on YouTube. I was not trading. For a whole year, I was just uh, watching baby peace, baby peace, watch their video, read their text, do their exams. It is the, it is the best you can, I can recommend for you. And it is free. And you can see, I'm not even marketing any class. I'm not even telling you to come and join my class or any, anything. It is important that you give yourself time and be consistent with the knowledge. Do you understand? So we cannot just buy or sell in the market. And that's why you see somebody who say they are buying and you, you, you are selling. And then you are, you are, so the fact that you are wrong does not mean I'm right. And the fact that I'm right does not mean you are wrong. It depends on what we are all trading. So somebody can sell here and exit here. He has made his money. And you, you are saying, yeah, it is an option. You, can, you cannot sell. It depends on your understanding. Who is disturbing our class? So it, 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 so you can, this is an example of a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, higher low, higher high, and all of that. So it's just technically speaking, that is the way you know the uptrend. But then if you think you still need, you know, some, some more, you know, some more knowledge about it, go on YouTube, Google it. You will see all of these things. You will see all of these things. They are, they are everywhere. What I want to be doing in all of my videos is to be, be able to put all of the things together. And that's why I said you should go and learn, go to baby peeps and all of that. When we come together, I want these trainings to be more of questions. Let's answer questions. Let's just oppose our thoughts and, and what we've practiced. Let's see what works and what doesn't work. That is the truth. As much as possible, I'll try and record more videos, maybe during the week spontaneously, and probably drop it on my YouTube channel so that, you know, I can be able to refer you there as, as, as many times as possible. But I'm not promising that yet, but I will just try as much as possible to do that.
But then, for now, you can you can search for knowledge anywhere you get it. Now you know what you are searching for. Now you know what you want to understand. Now you know what is wrong and what is right. So when you even watch well, videos of people that don't know what they are saying, you can to understand and see, ah, this is not what I need. And you go to the next video. So I hope I've been able to um, probably answer your question, Mr. Joseph. Mr. Joseph, I hope I've been able to answer your question. Yes, you have. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you have. Thanks, okay. thanks. You're welcome, sir. Do you have any other question before we call it a day? Any other one? Any other question? Any other question? Any other question? I hope you've enjoyed today's class. I know I've modeled up many things, and then just give yourself time. Just give yourself time. You are going to have it. The next class will be better than this, but maybe we we'll just pick something like um, trend line. Now we we'll just talk about trend line all through. Since we, since I now know that we have more, we have more beginners, a very very foundational beginner <laughs> in this class than you know, than intermediate people. So maybe we we'll just take it one by one, do a class and just do you know, trend line alone, or do a class and just do and just do support and resistance alone, and do a class and just do. Somebody said, what do we do with MT4? The, what I'm showing, what I'm working on today is MT4. So what you do with MT4 is you do your charts and you do your trading on MT4. I'm sure the question is coming from someone that has never traded before. But don't worry, you will get familiar. Those are the things you need most. For, I'm sure nobody is here to just try it out. If you want to be a trader, be a trader. If you don't want to be a trader, there's no point in wasting your time. It is not going to be an easy journey, but it's the most rewarding journey. I'm, and I'm, not, I'm saying with this all sense of humility. It will take your time, it will take your money, it will take your sweat, it will take your emotions, it will take everything. But trading is the most rewarding career you can have in this world today. Which other career do you know that someone can sit down and make, and make a million dollars one day? And I say this is possible. I'm saying, if you, if you understand what we are, it's just about risk and knowing what you are doing. I mean, by the time we, we meet next class, I will share some of the testimony of, of some of my friends and, you know, senior colleagues in this business. Guys are making stupid, crazy money. And they didn't jump there. They worked hard to get there. And when I say working hard, I don't mean hard work in the sense of what we know. It's understanding, giving it time. Staying with the market, understanding, not trying to rush, not trying to cut corners, not trying to use all these. Uh, this is the uh, strategy that is working now. This is the um, this is come and use the Come and use the system. All of those things only work for a time. What works for ever in quotes is price action. Using your do a naked charts and understand the market. Such that you can open any chart and pick where the market is going. It is really that simple. You can see, by well, the time we checked gold, we said most likely gold is going to fall next week. So two things can only happen. This region is a very strong region. Gold has fallen after, after touching this gold many times. So we expect the same thing to happen. And if that's, going to, if that's not going to happen, we we'll probably see consolidation, a consolidation and then a breakout but most likely it's going to fall again. Because what took go to this point is fundamentals. Trump saying all sorts of things and all of that. You know, a lot of things move good anyway, so let's not even talk about good. And then maybe one of the side will also talk about what are the things that also move market outside your charts. There are other things. Though. But then it's, it's just important that you start with what you know. So in the absence of um more question permit me to i believe i've been able to answer your question mr kinsley what you do with mt4 you trade with mt4 is that simple you trade with mt4 so um okay so um, in the absence of further question permit me to you know end this class. Thank you so much for